Hello everybody, Tiffany Solorio here for scrapbook.com. I am so excited to be on scrapbook.com's YouTube channel for World Card Making Day. I hope you guys enjoy all of the videos and all the content uh, that scrapbook.com has to share with you guys. And I am going to be using a Altenew stamp set. This one is Leaf Canopy. I absolutely love this stamp set, especially when I'm wanting to just do a little bit of watercoloring and not really think about uh, a floral, a huge like floral image or anything like that. Um, and before I get started, all of the supplies are listed down below as well as a link to my YouTube channel. Uh, you can find more inspiration over there as well. So I am starting off with some watercolor paper and I am going to be using my Tim Holtz stamp platform and using some Versamark ink. Uh, I am going to be doing some heat embossing and I like to use my stamp platform so I can stamp it twice with the Versamark ink. That way uh, it's really juicy for when I add the embossing powder on to the images and then I get a really nice crisp image. The embossing powder I am using is uh, from Ranger. It's the super fine white embossing powder. I love this embossing powder. Um, it comes in gold and black as well. All right, so disclaimer, <laughs> I am not a technical watercolorist or colorist in general. I love to do it, but my I don't have a lot of um, like art background, so I don't know the technical terms for things. I probably don't do it um, the right way, but as far as card making, it's very enjoyable and it is a lot of fun to do for card making. So if you have been on the fence about doing watercoloring for your cards, I highly recommend it. Even if you are like me and not a technical watercolorist or anything like that, it's still a lot of fun. I find it really relaxing and hopefully I give you a couple uh, tips on um, uh, watercoloring as well. So what I'm doing is taking a watercolor brush. This brush has water in the tube so when I need a little bit of water I can just uh, squeeze it a little bit and a little bit comes out. And the watercolors I am using are from Altenew and the colors are Lavender Fields and Deep Iris. So then I added a little bit of the color to the leaf and then let it kind of blend out a little bit and then I brought the brush to the uh, the darkest part of the leaf uh, which is going to be where the stem um, and the leaf connect to the larger stem. I hope that's making sense. And then after that dries I'm going to add another um, coat of color. This is going to give the leaves a lot of depth and dimension. And again, I only using two purples um, and basically using the same technique. And instead of brushing out the color, I actually kind of pounce my brush into the uh, darkest part and then out. Uh, pounce it out towards the edge of the leaf and then I will take a little bit or I'll squeeze the brush to have a little bit of water and then I will brush towards the darkest part um, that way I'm pushing a little bit of water towards the darkest part and then it'll blend out a little bit more. So hopefully that helps a little bit. I mean, as you could see, they are not technically right, um, but it was a lot of fun to do and um, I think the card is amazing and I absolutely love purple. So I am positioning my dies. This is a leaf canopy die. And I use my Spellbinders Platinum 6 die cut machine to cut those out. I wanted to add a bit of shadow to them, to the die cuts. So I am using a Altenew uh, alcohol marker and uh, just kind of getting the edges. And I do apologize for being off camera. It, I had to have it a little bit close and I forgot that I was zoomed in with my camera. 
Um, so after that, I am now taking my uh, scoring board and this is from Dress My Craft. I love this scoreboard because it has the uh, all of the extra things, the bone folder and uh, the little envelope guide on the back. Uh, so it's really nice. And I took another Dress My Craft Teflon bone folder to give my card base a really nice fold there. Uh, I really like their Teflon bone folders. All right, this is Classy Stripes stencil from Alta New. And I do have some repositionable adhesive on the back. Um, that's why I'm kind of pressing it down. Uh, and I'm using scrap scrapbook.com's blending tools uh, to blend out some of this oxide ink in hickory smoke. And I thought the gray and purple would go really nicely together. So I'm going in with the blending brushes and just building up the color. I'm not going to add stripes to the whole card panel. I'm only adding stripes to the bottom part of the card panel. Uh, I want the top part to, to be white. I do end up adding some black uh, splatters in the end, but I don't want stripes on the whole card panel. So I'm just going to build up that color and you'll see here just a second after I do a little bit more blending here, you could see the stripes there. I have some gold glitter paper and I'm definitely gluing way too much together. A black piece of cardstock, strip of cardstock with the gold. I don't know why I glued so much together, but yeah, I do cut it down and I'm using my Tonic Studios Deluxe Adhesive. I absolutely love this adhesive. I'm going to be gluing that at a diagonal kind of, at this point I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And I really like the gold with the black and the purple. It just, the gold just adds an extra little something to the card. And I am going to place my die cuts there. I kind of weaved them together at this point because I knew that I wanted two of them together just to see how they would go and look on my finished card. I'm going to cut my uh, ends off there. And I'm using some Tonic Studios uh, scissors. And I'm going to be using the Deluxe Adhesive again. I don't add adhesive to all of the leaves, most of them, um, but I like my cards to have a lot of dimension. I do a lot of mixed media projects. Uh, that's what I mainly do. I do absolutely love making cards as well. Um, but um, when I'm making cards, I like to add a little bit more dimension and interest to my cards um, rather than just it all just laying flat all the time. So after I add, um, adhere those leaves onto the card panel, I'm going to stamp out Thinking of You. I'm using some VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. I am going to add some Nouveau Drops. Uh, in black, just a few here and there, just to give the card a little bit more interest. I am going to finish the card with some splatters with the Distress Spray uh, Black Soot, and that is going to complete the card. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to head on over to my YouTube channel, and thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.